grassy knoll, shooter photographic evidence. This is the Kennedys arriving November 22nd, 1963 in Dallas. This video is to prove that there was a shooter on the grassy knoll. This has nothing to do with the school book depository. We know there was a shooter there. This is to prove a conspiracy. It's photos like this one. When enlarged, you can see the shooter on the grassy knoll. In fact, there is a photo taken at the exact moment of the fatal headshot. I used to be a young man with all of my plans. Time was my friend. I used to watch the sunrise with life in my eyes. And then they grow dead. This photo was taken just seconds after the fatal headshot. Above you can see an individual in the red circle. Let's zoom in. This individual is what people call the badge man uh, because people believe that he is disguised as a police officer. It is a grainy picture, you can make out a basic outline, and you can see the muzzle flash as well. Let's define this picture a little more. In this picture you can see the forehead, the muzzle flash, the badge, shoulder patch, his face. Notice the eyebrows, you can see the hairline, you can see his ear. It's definitely a person there. Now, it cannot be 100% conclusive with the identity of this individual. However, uh, with the eyebrows, it does appear to be David Ferry. If you examine the eyebrows and the forehead and the hairline, there is the possibility. However, with the grainy footage, it could never be 100% conclusive. Jim Garrison investigated the Kennedy assassination for the rest of his life, and he concluded that David Ferry, Clay Shaw, and others were involved with the conspiracy to assassinate Kennedy. In short, Garrison got it right. Oliver Stone directed the film JFK and he actually received threats over the making of the movie. In the 1991 film, Kevin Costner played Jim Harrison. To the right of the frame of this photo, you can see another individual standing to the right of the badge man. Let's take another look. In this eerie photo, you can see another individual to the right of the badge man. This individual appears to be wearing sunglasses. But there is more. On the left side of the picture, there is another individual. This individual appears to be holding a viewfinder 
Uh, possibly he is a spotter to confirm that the shooter has hit his mark. So here in the photographic evidence, we have three individuals on the grassy knoll. Each individual is specifically dressed in disguise for their specific role. In this photo we see the people rushing up to where the shooter was just moments before. Another witness described seeing a puff of smoke rise up through the trees after the fatal shot. These people were not wrong, they were reacting to where exactly the fatal shot had been fired. Photographic evidence proves that there was a shooter on the grassy knoll, thus proving that there was a conspiracy to kill John F. Kennedy.